today we're going to do another big huge book haul um, however I'm going to split this video into a few sections so that um, it's not going to be too long I want to show you each book with a bit of description or a bit of story behind it as a reason why I'm going to split it into a few sections before we start, I wanted to make a tutorial today um, with the colors that I've used. This is the look that I have achieved. I didn't make the tutorial because my finger was hurting. I will do a tutorial on this look one day if you are interested. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, let me show it to you again. It is a very colourful look. Um, as you know, I prefer to do colourful looks more than um, neutral looks. But I will still do neutral looks if there are any requests. If you do want a neutral look, leave it in the comment section below. Now let's get started with the book haul. I went to Kinokuniya in KLCC. There's only one branch of Kinokuniya um, in Malaysia and it's only in KLCC. I went there because I had some errands to do. After I've done the errand, um, we went to Kinokuniya and I saw that they were having a special on a few books which I was very interested to purchase. Let me show you what they have on offer. This is their newsletter or catalog. It's called The Bookish. Um, it looks awesome because there's a lot of books on it which I wish that I had a few of these books. Anyway, um, it's called Meet a Good Book, um, celebrating 12 years. The first thing that I saw when I went to uh, Kinokuniya was I went to the main entrance and I turned left and they had these books there. They had it on offer whereby for the Kinokuniya privilege card members is 25% off on all the books okay and for the non-members there is a condition whereby you need to purchase another item so you get 20% off I wasn't a member of theirs but I really wanted these books so I'm going to show it to you right now the first book that I saw there was Etiquette and Espionage Oh my god And this is a hardcover copy um, Original price is 68 ringgit 34 cents Which is very expensive um, But I don't mind because It's one of the books that I've been eyeing for a while If you see it a little bit shiny It's because I've already wrapped it Irregardless of whether they have a dust jacket or not, I'm still going to wrap it. Now, um, it says at the back here, it's one thing to learn to curtsy properly. It's quite another to learn to curtsy and throw a knife at the same time. Welcome to finishing school. So that's etiquette and espionage. Okay. I am really fond of this book. Um, it looks gorgeous. Um, it's purple, which is one of my favorite colors. Um, and if you want to know more about what this book is all about, um, just go to Goodreads or go to Amazon. They would have a small description of the book. Again, that's Etiquette and Espionage. Priced at 68 ringgit 34 cent. And then I saw this beautiful book right beside Etiquette and Espionage. It is splintered. Oh, how could you say no to that book? This is a fairy tale retelling of Alice in Wonderland. I guess it does say here, Welcome to the Real Wonderland. It's so crazy. That green, my goodness. For this small book, which is smaller than the um, Etiquette and Espionage, this one costs $68.40. And like I said just now, um, I get 20% discount. This is written by A.G. Howard. This one, I saw it right beside these two books. It was Victoria Schwab's The Archived. This is another beautiful book. 
the blue is just so vibrant it's dark but at the same time it looks so good um this cost 55 ringgit 90 cent that's how it looks like beautiful books for quite a huge number of money but because of that 20% discount so it's not bad it's about 50 ringgit each um, totals to about 150 so that's not really bad um, but it's hardcover which I love I like hardcover very much but one it's really expensive the other thing is that um, it's really bulky and it's a little bit harder to read if it is um, uh, what do you call it a hardcover book if you want to ship it from whichever website uh, for the hardcovers it's really going to be really really expensive for you 20% off on the books that I want from Kinokuniya that's really good so I bought it now I'm going to show you the books that I bought from Bookalicious it's quite crazy there's quite a few of it um, I'm going to start off with the box sets that I've bought this is by Ellie Carter, which is Gallagher Girls. This is a story about a highly classified school for spies. Wow! And it's so pretty. Um, all the girls are in these kind of uniforms on each of the books, but in different kind of um, patterns. This is Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover. Second one, I love this color, it's green. This is Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy. This series is not limited to just three books, but there are, I think, seven books altogether, so I'm waiting for Leon to bring the other set. Third one is I'll Tell You I Love You, But Then I Have to Kill You. Beautiful covers. They spent a lot of money, you know, trying to get the covers right. It's incredible. Um, I love this because it's um, it's really cool looking. The box set, I did not wrap it just yet because I don't know how I'm going to do it. The last time I wrapped um, any books in a box set, the box set just fell apart. If you girls or guys have any idea how to wrap it without ruining the box set, which is lovely. I'm going to show you how it looks like all together. It's really pretty. I love the box set very much. Next one is the Iron Face series um, by Julie Kagawa and I have the whole box set right here except for I think is it Lost Prince which is the subsequent series after this. Julie Kagawa's books are really pretty. See that? Gorgeous covers. Even the box set is so pretty. Iron Face. I think the first book is Iron King. Iron Daughter. So pretty. It's a lilac color. Iron Queen. And the last one is Iron Knight. Which is weird because I think all of them are girls, but this is the only guy. With this box set, I get a poster signed by Judy Kagawa. And look at the inside of this box set. Ah, oh, it's so pretty, so gorgeous. I love it very much. Um, and I'm so happy that I bought this series. I thought about buying each one of it individually, but I was thinking, well, why don't I just buy the whole set all together? There's one more box set. This is the Bookalicious um, paper bag. Very cute. Last book set is this one by Sarah Dessen. This is three of her books. 
which is lock and key someone like you and keeping the moon it's a very pretty box set as you can see it's purple and pink and a little bit of blue with this box set I get the box itself which you can keep as a keepsake kind of box because it opens up like this see that there's a string there once I have my bookshelves done, I'm just going to keep the Sarah Dyson book on the bookshelf. And then I'm going to use this box for whatever purposes. With this box set, I get a pendant, which I'm not quite sure I'll use because I'm wearing a hijab. Like I said just now, there's three books all together. This is Lock and Key, Someone Like You, Keeping the Moon. Now, I bought Sarah Dessen's book because there's a lot of buzz going on about Sarah Dessen and when I looked at Goodreads, um, she receives at least four stars on all of her books. So that's the reason why I'm going to try to buy almost all of them. There's another box set of hers which I didn't purchase. Um, that is still available in Bookalicious if you're looking for it. I can't remember what that one contains but it also has three um, books in there. That's for the box set series. Next I'll be showing you a few more books in another video. So stay tuned for that. Bye!